lesson 87. We are reviewing A Course in Miracle lessons 73 and 74. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles. I am Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center. Today we are going to be reviewing those two lessons and at the end of the review and the contemplation of those two lessons, I'm going to suggest two Qigong classes which I have already prepared, especially for this uh, second review of the Course in Miracle workbook. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, also give me a like on this video. And at the end of this uh, video and at the end of the Qigong classes, let me know how this has gone for you. The review sessions are actually very important tools to the understanding and um, anchoring of the Course in Miracles in general and the Course in Miracle lessons. Because repetition is the key. I mean, this is one of the, what we are learning in Qigong. Repetition is the key. It is necessary to repeat things over and over for it to, for it to become a memory within your human experience. Let's begin reading our lesson. Lesson 87. The first idea is this. I will dare be light. This belongs to lesson 73. I will use the power of my will today. It is not my will to grope about in darkness, fearful of shadows and afraid of things unseen and unreal. Light shall be my guide today. I will follow it where it leads me and I will look only on what it shows me. This day I will experience the peace of true perception. These forms of this idea would be helpful for specific application. These are the additional ideas which you can apply to this particular lesson. This cannot hide the light I will to see. The key here as well is the, the word will, because you are willing there to be light. You stand with me in light, and then you look at the person which you think that is bringing you problems. So you can just say, you stand with me in light. In the light, this will look different. In the Qigong class, I'm going to remind you to remember your lesson and I'm also going to remind you to listen to your inspiration, listen to the voice of God, listen to your Holy Self or Holy Spirit. And if you do get a particular sentence or a particular idea which you feel that belongs to this lesson, write it down, remember this um, phrase because this has come directly for you, specifically for you. Write it down. I sometimes have phrases which are reverberating in my mind for days or weeks. Right now, the phrase I have in my mind is miracles are seen in light, which is the first lesson after the review. But this is constantly going on in my, in my mind. Okay. <clears throat> lesson 74 was this. There is no will but God's. I am safe today because there is no will but God's. I can become afraid only when I believe that there is another will. I try to attack only when I am afraid. And only when I try to attack can I believe that my eternal safety is threatened. Today I will recognize that all this has not occurred. I am safe because there is no will but God's. As I said, those review sessions are actually very important. And here it is one thing which I often hear uh, Course in Miracles students say. Um, today it will, I've recognized that all this has not occurred. What has not occurred? This is also the key here. What is it that has not occurred here? Because a lot of Course in Miracles students just dismiss everything that it has not occurred. We come into some kind of a nihilistic uh, worldview uh, where, where all this is, uh, where all this, what we experience and the people in it, that, that nothing is real, that is all it's an illusion. But what, it's, what, it, the, what the Course is actually referring to, that what has not occurred is that what, the, what you are see, seeing as a grievance. That is what has not occurred. Because the reason that is not occurred is the, it's, it's because it's the way you have been looking at that particular occurrence which made you see it as a grievance. You see? 
It is not about that it has not happened. It has not happened the way you are looking at it. If you look at it that it has happened for some kind of a meaningful purpose for everybody to make to wake up, then it has a, then then it has meaning. Like we have said before, the course specifically distinguishes be between things which are useful for you, which are useful for us as a humanity to advance, and things which are not useful. Like you're separating peas from their shells. So you're taking the peas in and you're throwing the shells away. And it's, all, it's almost like in everything which appears to be really bad, there are those peas inside, there are those pearls inside these bad things which, are, which has occurred. And in the yin-yang symbol, you can also see it. In every black, there is a white. And in every white, there is a black. There is always a pearl to be gained, a pearl to be harvested. There is always a pearl to be harvested if you're looking at the situations in the right way. Okay? So the additional ideas to this idea, which is there is no will but God's, the, the Course is suggesting, let me perceive this in accordance with the will of God. So you can see here, it's about perception. It's not about whether it happened or not. It's about the way you have been perceiving it until now and the way you are going to perceive it from now on. Okay? It is God's will, you are his son, and then the person, and mine as well. So, for example, if you're taking a historic figure who you think has done atrocities, and there's many of them which I think that they have atrocities, if you can actually apply it to one of them and say, you so-and-so, a terrible person from, from the history, and then you say, you too are a son of God. I mean, this is somebody who is not emotionally touching you. And then maybe apply this to also to somebody who is very dear to you, but is maybe doing some foolish things to you and to himself. Okay? This is part of God's will for me, however I may see it. So this is saying that whatever is actually happening to you, this is part of God's will because you are just looking at it the wrong way. You're thinking, why is it that I'm a victim? Why, why is my life like this? Well, your life is like this because, first of all, there is maybe something you need to learn. And second of all, it's because you need to bring something to somebody and only you can do. I'm often thinking about this, for example, when we are ill. Yeah, it's not nice to be ill. But you are, you are bringing your awareness with, into that hospital or you're bringing your awareness to this particular doctor. You're bringing your awareness with you. And, and this particular awareness is necessary in that space where you're going to. Okay? So, let's apply these lessons to today's Qigong classes. I am particularly suggesting these two Qigong classes. But if you have done already several classes with me, you can choose from this particular list where there is many Qigong classes which I have designed specifically for A Course in Miracles students. Enjoy and have a wonderful day.